it doesn't take much to convince our viewers to share pictures of their pets. On National Pet Day, we received hundreds. Cats, dogs, donkeys, birds, and more. Not just pets, but a part of our families. Wow. Jesse Strasser of Minneapolis. My mom can go um, farther than me with Belle. Got Belle long before her daughter Amelia was born. And I'm like just gliding on the on top of the snow. <laughs> We've had her nine and a half years. We, I don't know if we'd call her a rescue or not. My mom found her in the paper for free. And it just said like two year old Great Pyrenees mix spayed female. I'm like, okay, we're coming to get her. You ready? Let's go. Right. A pet Let's go. that loves to play in the snow. Let's go. Ah. The general social survey found that nearly six in 10 households have at least one pet. The survey also said that dog owners are happier than those with cats, with 36% of dog owners reporting being very happy compared to 18% of cat owners. But the Washington Post points out that other factors may come into play, like the survey showing dog owners are more likely to be married and own homes. Okay. Tell that to the cat lovers. I love my cat. He, he helps make me happier. He walks to the door when I come home and I like that makes me so happy and he follows me around the house. Um, I'd be a less happy person without him. At the Cafe Meow in Minneapolis. So that's Lillian. These cats want to be your pet. It's a place where you can get some caffeinated beverages and hang out with cats. We work with two local rescue organizations, Rough Start Animal Rescue and No Kitten Left Behind. Come on down, babe. Since Minneapolis's first cat cafe opened more than a year ago, they've helped more than 100 cats get adopted. That's Willow. Each one. That's basically where she hangs out all day. With his or her own name. So he's really keen on head pets. A recent study in Japan found that cats, in fact, know their names, even when called by strangers. And we definitely see responses. Their ears are broke up, they'll look over at you. 100%. They just don't listen. Ben Strawman grew up with dogs and cats. Zeke's just my baby. But now has a ball python. It's a little bit on the odd side. Uh, some people get a little uneasy around snakes in general, but like they're pretty zen animals. Like all they think I am is just a large warm tree to hang out with. So she'll like sitting in my beanie and like or on my lap or on my neck even. Of course we had to show our pets. This is Bunny Pancake. She's a rescue from Rochester, Minnesota. And this is Backpack the Brave, also a rescue from Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm David Porter. I'm shooting this story and this is Butters, my dog. He's from Louisiana and now he lives in Minnesota and he hates the snow. She loves the snow. Hey. Pets with different personalities. Sorry, stepped on your leash. There for the ups and downs. Well, you're silly. You know, to be fair, when we started the show three and a half years ago, we had a lot of debates, me and Chris, me and Rita, yeah. me, Rena and Chris. And so I, I'm going to say this to all y'all now, and we're going we're gonna to choose. I'm a dog person. I'm a cat person, but I also love dogs. I, I think it's fair she to say doesn't. I like cats more, but I like both animals. It's fair to say you were squealing the entire time a cat came on. All right, I was. conclude yes. your okay. journalism here, Okay, Heidi. well also, there's also a new report that found that Minnesota has the fattest cats and dogs. 41% of our state's dogs and 46% of our cats are considered overweight or obese. Why? I don't know, but it is very hard dieting one cat and not the other. I've tried it. It's very difficult. How, how many are there, Heidi? There's only two. Mm -hmm. She just said that because <laughs> the city's watching. Yeah, well, I also wanted to share a pretty awesome update. Okay. Last year, I went out to St. Olaf College because of a painting once thought to be a fake. It's beautiful in its own right, but then they got word it actually could be an authentic painting by Norwegian artist Edvard Munch, best known for the painting The Scream. Experts from the Scientific Analysis of Fine Art in Philly and New York City came to Northfield to take samples from the painting. Well, those tests just came back yesterday, and experts say the paints used in the piece match those that Munch would have used. The painting will now be reviewed by experts at the Munch Museum in Oslo with the hope it can be officially determined as authentic. Wow. I didn't it's know we were going to go art from cats. I know. That's crazy. You are cats, really well-rounded. Cat, cats are art, though, aren't they? We'll be right back. Oh wait, no we won't. <laughs> Heidi, true love makes us do crazy things like venturing out in an April snowstorm. You know, how like you do for your husband. This woman was doing something so kind. She's gonna tell us why she was outside. And it is the most Minnesota thing we have heard today. 